Hey, Soul Family. Tracy here with Sweet Spot E Magazine. <clears throat> Thank you so very much for the likes, the subscribes, the shares, the views, the comments. I appreciate everything and everyone. Let's go ahead. We're going to ring the bell. Let's clear this energy and let's see what the message the Spirit has for us. So <clears throat> someone made up their mind, and then after they make up their mind, they decide they want to do over. They want to unmake up their mind. Maybe it has something to do with the community that they're in. in. <clears throat> maybe it has something to do, maybe the decision that they, the initial decision that they made had something to do with the community or who they're, the group, the club that they're involved in. It's like, but like I said, somebody, they, <clears throat> they, they decided they were going to go this way. Then they, then they decided, you know what? I think I want to go this way. What's the message, Spirit? the message. <laughs> Sorry, I was sitting on my dress and choking myself out. What's the message, Spirit? We have high honor, mature woman, and imprisonment. So maybe this <clears throat> mature woman, and we have expectation at the bottom, maybe this mature woman is someone of high honor or stature in the community, but being with this person, this someone feels like they're trapped, like they're in jail, like they can't get out even if they wanted to. And this mature woman has certain expectations. And of those expectations, she is concerned about a certain courtship that's taking place. She's worried that, you know what, whoever this other person is is going to all of a sudden get this money that she was there. She toiled and she labored. She suffered with this person. Because for her, it was one hell of a journey with this mature man. I mean, you know what, this wealthy man, there were times that she thought about getting divorced. She thought about getting divorced. She thought about taking him for everything that, she, that he had. But then she felt that that would be leaving her in despair. So she said, no. She's not going anywhere. She's there. And she's going to stay. She's staying because she has some expectations of some unexpected income. When this mature man dies, that money is hers. She fought the good fight. She suffered with this mature man. So that's what she feels that her payout is. She feels that's her just due. Bottom of the deck, we got the fool. Someone else is thinking about taking the leap of faith, though. They're thinking about going elsewhere. They're thinking about anywhere else but there. Hmm. 
they're thinking about where they'd rather be than where they're at now. It's like <clears throat> this person may be on top financially, but as far as being happy, no. There's a lot to be desired. So this person really is really thinking about, really contemplating really meditating about starting over, starting brand new. For right now, they're just trapped. They're trapped in this relationship and they're trapped in their emotions. And all they can think about is that magical time that they had with that star. That's all they can think about. That's what they dream about. But they had to make a decision about where they were going to be, where they were going to stay. And so this emperor decided that <clears throat> He was going to put an end to this, whatever this was, because <clears throat> he couldn't see any growth. He couldn't see anything good coming from this. So he said, uh, -uh cut it off. I'll cut it all off. I'm gone. I'm gone, baby. I'm gone. And then as he walked out the door, something happened. He opened up the door, and it's like he felt a lightning bolt hit his heart. And he didn't understand what happened at first. He just knew that he felt different. Something was off. Something was not setting right. So he decided that he wanted to take his time and <clears throat> check things out. But he needed to look beyond surface. He had to look beyond surface. And it was whenever he went beyond surface that he realized The true one for him, the Empress, the one that is so strong and courageous, the one who is a leader, the one who definitely leads the path. That's what he was thinking about. And like I said, he had made a decision that he was going to go in a certain way, but he knew that he was lying to himself. He knew that the one that he really wanted to be with was the one who was very truthful, the one who he saw as the gift. That's the one who was his dream come true his wish come true, everything that he wanted.
This person is wondering when and where things kind of took a turn. When and where did he realize that maybe he wasn't as happy in this relationship as what he initially thought? I mean, he was looking at his emotions all in his, you know, trying, trying to appear normal on the outside, but really in his emotions on the inside. Because whatever he thought about, whatever he looked at, It's like he was kind of like on pause. It was just it's like he didn't want to acknowledge that this was his empress. That this was who he wanted to be with. He didn't want to acknowledge that. His his ego, his pride would not let him acknowledge that so he decided he wants to stay so stay what's the message spirit what's the message Saw a flipper. Yep. And it still haunts him about this decision that he made. It was like he could have decided that he could stay where he was at, where he was not even happy, not feeling seen, not feeling supported, not feeling truly loved. And then he's thinking about the decision of the person that made him feel seen, that made him feel supported, that made him feel important, that made him feel truly loved. And this is somebody that he felt like, no, the things just won't work out. Things just won't work out, you know. What's the message, Spirit? And you know, it's like the his his wife at home, she's feeling a certain type of way, but she's trying not to say anything. And she knows that this person has a lot of passion and fire for you. This per they know, they know this. They both know this. They both know this. I feel like he's thinking of a way to build with you. I really feel like, you know, he feels some sort of, it's like he's feeling some sort of way. He's feeling some sort of distance and he doesn't like the distance. It's like he doesn't want to make a step towards you, but he doesn't want you to go anywhere. You know, he wants you to feel like you're not building anything with anyone and you're fine waiting around on him. Like that's your wish fulfillment. It's like you're not going to be awakened to, no, that's not how it goes. And he knows someone is a high priestess and already understands everything. So if they want to stay, let them stay. Thank you, Spirit. Let them stay where they're comfortable. Because 
He's lying to himself that he wants to be there with her. Let him stay. Because they're lying to each other. And they both know they're lying to each other. So if they want to lie to each other, and then he wants to stress about what you're doing, why, while you're out doing you looking good, and maybe someone else is coming in to tell you what, what you want to hear, what they mean, and it's holding you, you know, taking you to better, be, a better land, somewhere that's safer than what there he's trying to offer. So if he wants to stay, let him stay. Let them stay. But somebody wants to say something. It's like they want to talk to you about, you know, they want to sell you on a dream. Oh, you know what? Let, 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 let's wait. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. I want to sell you on this dream. So we can do this together. We can do that together. I'm looking forward to this with you. I'm looking forward to that with you. They want to tell you you're my soulmate, but they don't mean that. They just, they have what they want from you. What they want from you is, is just to get what they're going to get and then go back. That's what they want. And leave you to pick up the pieces. What's the message, Spirit? Thank you. This person knows that you are leaving, that you're going to calmer waters. This person knows that you have already made the decision, and now they're all up in their emotions and feeling upset, feeling sad, feeling left out, feeling like they just lost their best friend, feeling like they're going through a breakup even though they are with someone. Wondering if you're feeling those same emotions of a breakup. No. No. Not at all. Yeah, this person, <clears throat> they stabbed themselves in the back. They shot themselves in the foot. They messed themselves up. They put themselves in a chokehold. They choked themselves out. Because they was married all, all along. So they know they can't do anything. They know they can only sit back and watch you as you get married to somebody else. Knowing that they wanted to be the one to marry you. I'm telling you, this person is all in their emotions because they're feeling all left out in the cold. They know that you were a gift, but they know they were not in a position to go anywhere. They wanted you to be, uh, you know, their lover in a th three-party situation. And they know that that would have been a toxic situation that would have ended in complete disaster. So they know that them watching you, even if they reach out and have some type of communication and they know they notice it's different now because they notice that it's, it's completely the same but different. It's distant. At first, it threw them off because they 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 wasn't used to getting that type of communication, and, and and it took them a minute. They had to work through this. They had to think about it. They had to say, "Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute," and then they thought about it, and they realized that the way that they were done. 
was the way that they've done so many others. The way that they were just kind of dismissed is the same way that they dismissed others, several others. But now it's their turn to be politely dismissed. What's the message, Spirit? Yeah, they are all in their emotions. They're feeling left out. They're feeling the cold, they're feeling like you are ice cold. And it's almost like they, they miss your warmth. They just want to reach out. But right now, they're so overburdened. They're so overburdened because they understand where you're coming from. They understand what's going on. They understand where you stand. And they know they don't have a word. They can't say a word about it. They know that they have no right to open up their mouth to say a single thing. Confirmation. Because they are the one that's attached. You are the one that's available. Thank you, Spirit. And this is causing them great stress. They're like probably agitate, easily agitated, you know, they don't want to really be around anyone. They kind of want to be by themselves. And if they have to be around someone, they like, you know, yeah, I really don't want to talk. I just want to just, I want to do, I just want to do me. And it's justice. It's justice. It's justice for this family to see this person go through this emotional withdrawal, to go through these symptoms, these signs of a heartbreak, of a breakup, of despair. It's a shock. But it's also telling. Someone can't hide their emotions any longer. Someone can't hide the truth. Someone wants to be set free. And they know that the way to be set free is just by saying the truth because it's the truth that sets us all free. They feel like they've been carrying this load. They feel like they've been in this union that they, they felt was okay. They felt, you know what, I, I, I'm I okay. I can just deal with this for the rest of my life. But they never really sat there and thought, am I truly, truly happy? What's the message? It's 
someone wants to build with you. It's like they want to reach out to you after a long time. Someone is experiencing some sort of emotions. Thank you. 